bringing Asia and Australia closer together on screen and on stage. Five, four. Sam Neill and Rachel Griffiths in Shanghai launching Actors' new Asia International Engagement Program. I think it's a nod to the brilliance of Asian cinema. America's over there, but we are part of Asia. So I think it is so so directional for the future. The program's centrepiece, a new Australian award for Best Asian Film. Films from 19 countries, including India, South Korea and Japan, will be eligible. Chinese filmmakers are being encouraged to submit their films for the inaugural Best Asian Film Award, which will be given at the end of this year at the 2017 Actor Awards. Selena Jade could be flying to Sydney for the event. Her upcoming movie, Wolf Warriors 2, has been invited to enter. Even just to be nominated is, is such an honour. It's actually a really exciting time for Chinese cinema. It's hoped the growth of China's film industry will bring about more co-productions with Australia since the two countries sealed a film production deal ten years ago. Filmmaking can now happen anywhere, anytime. It can cross boundaries. Sam Neill's 2010 film, The Dragon Pearl, was one of the first. There are more diverse stories to be told. And if we're working with China on co-productions, there's more opportunity to express that. Rachel Griffiths says the award will encourage much-needed multicultural Australian stories. That is going to be so important as our, ne as our Australian next generation of filmmakers come from backgrounds where they perceive Asia differently to my generation and certainly my parents' generation. The best Asian film will be decided by a grand jury headed by actor Russell Crowe in December. In Shanghai, Katrina Yu, SBS World News.